So this is pretty interesting. Are people still using Windows XP and 7? Yes. And here's why. But before I jump into this, you can help me out by doing what's free up here. Like, share, subscribe to the notification bell, and of course, comment. Now, the numbers here are actually pretty staggering. 25 million people still use Windows 7, and you are probably one of those. If you are, let us know in the comments down below. As well, 2.2 million people are still using Windows XP. And there's a number of reasons for this. For example, app compatibility, right? Legacy devices and such, old programs. And there's no support for them in newer operating systems. Cost of investment. Some people in some poor countries just can't afford it, and they might be still using Windows XP. It's not secure, but oh well, what can you do? As well, data migration issues. Sometimes, you know, you have old programs and they won't work. They won't migrate from that old operating system to the new one. And as well, reliability. Things work right now. If you upgrade, they mightn't. Now, how can you run these older operating systems safely and securely? Well, if you have decent hardware and it doesn't have to be super robust, but what you can do is run these operating systems, 7 and XP, for example, within a virtual machine on a more modern operating system. And that way, the VM kind of contains any threats and it protects the main system. Now, of course, you can still use Windows 7 and Windows XP outside of a virtual machine online, but you have to be extremely, extremely careful what sites you are visiting, what programs you are installing, what stuff you are downloading. And I would also suggest another layer of security, and that would be a decent antivirus program. And I could suggest one, something I've been using for a very long time, Malwarebytes, and I'm not sponsored by them. And you can really understand why people just don't want to upgrade to Windows 11, especially 25H2, and that is being forced. They want you to have now a Microsoft account, you know, Copilot, all the AI, recall, taking pictures of, you know, things on your screen. Who knows what's going on in the background, not to mention all the bloatware. I personally used to use Windows for everything, gaming and all my productivity work, and I've dropped all the productivity work on Windows 11. All I use now my system for the gaming rig is just for gaming. That's it, nothing else. And as soon as I can move completely away from Windows 11, maybe to Steam OS for gaming, it'll be bye-bye Microsoft for me. Now, of course, you can go with other operating systems. And I think a lot of people are probably making that hard decision because if you've used Windows throughout the years, Linux, for example, there's a lot of Linux distros out there, and I've tried a lot of them, and they've gotten a lot better over the years, and there's a lot more support for them. They're a little challenging to use, but like anything, once you get into it, it's not too bad. Anyway, I would love to know your thoughts on this. You can leave them in the comments down below.